Well, a very good evening to you. If it's Thursday, you know it's Chit Chat, right? A big shout out to you for tuning in. If you're joining us right now, this is Chit Chat right here on YTF4 TV, your favorite youth channel. My name is Philine. I'm Philine Jean on all socials. The hashtag is Chit Chat. Now, we're all about trending topics in Kenya and beyond. We talk about stories that have been making headlines throughout the week. And we do a roundup. And to help me do that is the gang gang right here in studio, starting with our very own Sassy JC, as we call her. Sasseni. Hey, how about you? Roger, you know you. Okay. Sasseni. Hey, how about you? Hi. We're down our doublets. Kama kawaida, we are back ni Thursday. And today, hey, leo mlisema mkua na drama back to back. And tuko hapa kuwaletea. Yeah. And uh, tune in, nambaki hapo, msiguze kitu. Mnasikia, iyo remote, mm -mm. leo haiguzwe. <laughs> remote, muna niwekea vile inafaa. Mm -hmm. Are we together? Watu wa nyumbani, kamera ya nyumbani, are we together? Kwa sababu, <laughs> ni wakati, wakachai. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, as we always say, room, room is officially open. Tujibambe, remote na hapo nyuma. Now welcome to the show. Kama kawaida, we're going to have a great time. Let us know where you're watching from. And at the end of the show, we'll be sending some love, some shoutouts your way. Right? Now on to our first story. I'm the Ferdinand Omurua Omanyala is now the fastest man in Africa and eighth globally after breaking the continent, 100 meters record. The 25-year-old ran 9.77 seconds at Saturday's Kipkeno Classic meeting at Kasarani Stadium in Nairobi to break the mark of 9.85 seconds set by South Africa's Akani Simbile in July. Now, while being handed a Toyota Harrier to celebrate his win, courtesy of Audibet, the sprinter disclosed that he owes his success to his girlfriend who stood by him when he was broke. He said his girlfriend will pay all the, would pay all the bills, including rent, and now he will buy her whatever she needs. A statement that has sparked conversation on social media. That's amazing, right? Uh -uh. Now you've got to agree no. with me. What? What? <laughs> I mean, I know, I was going to start with JC, but then no. I'm just saying, you know what? <laughs> then you see me still last week. I know you have a lot to say. So please, kindly, go right ahead. I think you're going to keep JC on the same way. You know. Hey, okay, I don't know. Manyala, congratulations, man. Literally. The fastest man in Africa mm -hmm. comes from Kenya. Kenya. Yes. And the eighth fastest man in the world comes from Kenya. Mm -hmm. I don't take it for granted. You know, we, we were never in the short races. Mm -hmm. Long distance. Long, Long distance. distance. Mm -hmm. no, on that note, yes. even said, yes. there's a, there are some people he approached. Yes. Uh, once they were international and stuff. I think they train uh, athletes. At a diamond list. Welcome to <laughs> like It's good. You believe in yourself, but... <laughs> Kenya, you'll never run short. <laughs> wow. Yeah, you can't, you, you can't like, always wow. there. Like, just focus on the wow. marathon, wow. not 100 meters. You know, look I, at him now. I was actually hearing him telling his story, and yeah. sometimes you would think you, he broke two records in a day in one of his uh, experiences. Within three months, Umseme break records, EV, <laughs> from 10.01 all the way to 9.77. Aki wacha ni kuambiyo. One second. Kuambiyo. It means a lot. Hi, one second. If we in that race, okay, keep chugging. See the 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 nini. What is it called? Uh, the Ineos. Ilikuwa hivi second. Now kasema that is under two hours. Imagine. Na ilikuwa na one fifty nine. Nine point seven seven. He's yeah. going for bolt as we speak, yeah. as he said. Right now he's number eight. He's Globally. going for bolt. Number nine, MC. Oh my God. I know. You guys. I know. I know. Never be a Jesse when I'm like, I'm catching up. I'm just like, okay, okay. No, Jesse. Now let's talk about a different angle. I'm running away from that angle. Because, because, oh my God, I acknowledge this guy for like, for the last six months, like when there were no competition, there were COVID, ni 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 ni. He didn't have any money. He didn't have any source of income. The girlfriend took care of him and the entire family. She was footing the bills, paying rent and food, literally <laughs> everything. So it's like, you know what? 
now that I have money, I'm going to take care of you. What are we thinking? He's what the first thinking? man to acknowledge that he will give back to the girlfriend after Mepewa. Mm -hmm. mm. The first one? Yes. Are you sure? Open. I know, man. A millionaire. Exactly. When you exactly. have exactly. a pesa, sure? pesa, like I that person has to come here to help you. You understand? The money is not in the bank. 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 See you. Hiyo yeah, yake okay, CEO hiyo kidogo 50 something thousands. Mm -mm. <laughs> mm -mm. Okay. Na nakwambia kitu msana alimpea hata inajoy kufika 50 something thousands. Yes. Eh? Lakini say... unaona kuamini na mtu wako, watu wangu, lakini unaamini na yeye ukiona pia ako na potential ya kukuaminia baka kipata. Ambition. Because mm -hmm. shida yenu nyinyi si generalize na sema some men. Mm -hmm. Shida wanaume wengine ni the fact that once you get money you forget the chick who was there for you when you mm -hmm. had nothing. Mm. Yeah, una agree. Tukubaliane kwanza. Kwa darau tunaanza. No, eh? Hapo ndio unakumbuka? Ah, hapo ndio unakumbukanga Serena. Na Serena tunaenda tu chill. Na ule dem fulani ule mwenye nilikuwa ni mwananga Instagram na vast smart. Sasa huyu wako juu sababu bado ako po tu pale na vitu zetu zana hapa downtown. Hmm? Zenye tunaenda kuokota 200 200 zile za filin za so moja so moja. <laughs> eh? Let's like, you forget that person. You go to spend with someone who was not there for you when you're looking for that money. Let me tell you something. Like sometimes you look, unajua sasa dope ina kuna class flying ina peanga mtu. Yeah, exactly. Sasa unakaa hivi unaona, "Eh, but then mimi nao, naweza for this suit." Alafu unaangalia yule dem like, "But then wewe si chenga class 8." No dem I kwa class. Any man that thinks like that is a foolish man. Haki wacha ni sema tu. Sema it's true. Sasa hata sleep kwa yule mwenye anajua, anakangali sana Oxford. I believe you're like, "Oh, English shake it at yesa now that i know the who i imagine i'm going to hang out with this the yeah. boys club mm. maybe just the, the boys mm. club wale unaingia hapo sasa so, like, ndio mlalez ndio kusema mm. you know mm. there's two sides that are going to be there yeah come yeah. on <laughs> 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 Sijui ni nini na kujaga inawakula tu. Unasahau mahali ulitoka which is actually very wrong and trust you me you don't akiangalia wenye wamejaribu kwenda hiyo route they never end up going. Hiyo pesa inaishanga pa. Hiyo pesa. Do you know uh, ladies or a woman in a man's life mm -hmm. is not just there to spend money. Mm. Si wa spend tu pesa. One, udem kama ndiyo walikuwa. Unajua by the way sisi we are very and that's why you find mnasemanga um, pesa yetu ni tamu. Ju, ni sisi tunatoaga mnafurahia iko nini nini but ukipata mtu anakufunza ama anakusaidia kuiweka na kuinvest huyo ndio baby hao wengine wote ni slaves mm -hmm. thing is you'll find a man will always know and we had said this the other time will always know the woman he will marry mm -hmm. from the word go yeah he will always that know. is true that so ukiona mse anaanza kutapa tapa hapa na pale inamaanisha ana sense of direction mm. either hajapata the right woman to marry na kama ulikuwa kwa hiyo story mm. you were just there and you were not uh, you're not really finishing everything for yeah. that lady of yeah. that guy huko yeah. unamsaidia vile inafaa it is true ju kuna kitu kingine tutorecord no leza na What do ladies bring to the table sometimes uh, when uh, a guy has money mm -hmm. and the question is mm -hmm. uh, or the answer is mm -hmm. peace Yeah. In direction. Yeah. Hiyo hatunanga. And your man utasikia Serena what 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 cause the moment money pesa tukaangi na. Ngoja. Rude your point and you may admit hamnanga nini? Amani na direction. You know. Seriously, and when you find a lady that you can trust with your money. Yeah. Si pesa ambayo wat you umeanza kuvucheza cheza. Pesa kama hiyo ya Manyala. Ukipata demu unaweza trust na do kama hiyo. Haki utafanya kila kitu. Umesikia vile mm. wanyana alisema mm. everything you want baby you get it. Mm. Yeah. I know. Yeah, baby, baby, whatever you want. It's mine. It's, it's ours. This example Dennis, there's a friend of mine who told me this story. So um there's this guy yes. in the UK, very rich. Like I think it's like in a book or a movie, I'm not sure. So this guy had a lot of money. You know like you're in a you're a billionaire. Yeah. Yeah. So bibi yako like whatever she wants, she gets mm -hmm. like okay, oh, you're going to shop in the UK. And I'm like yeah, like <laughs> million dollars you need me nini ana peka to bibi so one time came una jo to be a businessman they take risks yes. when investing mm. made a bad deal invested all the money it went south 
Wow. Aka kutevi kwa nyumba na lia mtana na vya bibi like we are poor. Like it's bad. Bad. the only thing we have is this house. Then the wife is like, don't worry. All the money you gave me, I've been investing. We we own real estate. We have like a lot of houses. Wow. We are not going broke anytime soon. So you tell me. Unge kuanga wenu ule demu akupewa do unasema kaenda kaende. How much? 25,000. Chukua ya kuna hapa filim. I know it all. Blue and green and white. I know it all. Why you the extra? Okay. So because you have the money, I will nangi kai taisha. I will be the mistake of doing that in the first day. It's in all colors. You done. Oh, let's see any in all colors. Same size. Okay, colors is not cool. Like don't worry. Kia black, green, blue, yellow, yeah. red. <laughs> I'm serious. You do that. Hela kidi mwache jo. Just for men, yeah. other them like when, mm. when you with someone, me always say like I will never even like go with someone who's who I'm smarter than. Like for a guy, you just have to be a little bit smarter than me. I don't want to explain jokes. You get like joking up Peter or something. Baby, mesema. You see, mzaka wio. Like when we meet, we talk shit. Like you have, so you have you. You see, all of them are athletes. Who them pia she's a she's athletic. Long jump. Eh, when you what? Eh, they in the same. Oh, wala wali ruka hivi watu ingi na wakianguka kai. What? Eh, they're doing something. Me them smart. And also by the way, juju manyala me inspire. Let's not also like at be blind. You're investing with someone or something. Nenasema kuna potential. Wewe, look at someone sisi tunachezanga tu PS, kama kuna kulala ende manenda hustle alafu unasema ati she believes in me. Ati niliona ni lingine ya PS, hiyo ya PS ati babe nionyeshe career yako. Si unaona ile ya PS watu create career. Tumi nataka boy yako na career. Say no more. Okay, you talk about PS. Ambition. You have to inspire each other. Yeah. I'm an yard there. Like when you wake up in the morning, I'm at people lose jobs and mm. things happen. Like when someone is down, you help them up. But na yeye si ati azoe. Unajua kuna wengine they get comfortable. Yeah. Si tu jishi hapo pamoja. No, no be right. You see, um kuna kuna I always I always envy couples that you will never know when the guy is broke. Makofi. You will never know. It's true. Yeah. Always you are the moment you find such a couple. Wariki watolee kofi. Ju hao wanajua what they are doing. Yeah. Kwa sababu kuna wengine hapa nje. Wewe uko na pesa, you have the manyala money. Unajua sasa inaitwa manyala money. Mm, Nimeona hivyo. <laughs> pale mimi sasa watu wa Kenya watusimamishi na hizo. Kwa sababu manyala pale mm. ushikiki. Then wewe ni hiyo kitu. Umesikia demo mekaa ameitisha all five variants of the same th- as in your style. Mm. The day things go south, udema na kutoka. Yeah. And guys we we know that tukiona tu kwa katabia tulisema the first date tutatuona tu tu vitu twingi kwa pale tu hivi kwa hivyo wao mnatopeleka analysis wengine wanaonanga tu wanaona tu demu ni mrembo aoni anaona tu yo 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 pretty whip but i think it it comes with age mimi nimekaa right. kurealize i think inakujanga na age hiyo ya beauty body and all mm-hmm. no wonder mnaonanga best yako hot boy mnauliza aliona nini kwa hiyo dem like what happened you know yeah. aliona hapa yeah. 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 hapa the way i'm not even lying to you you yeah. see what Dennis is saying mm. that is true like people see nowadays you have to see beyond yes. the face this. Beyond squeeze ya kuna mali tunapeleka face squeeze yeah. ni the way in hata wewe utaki kuwa na watoto wenyewe wewe unajua si bibi I love you baby. Mtoto wako anaambiwa pigwe picha babako babake hezi kwa creative amwekea hapo ship ya neighbor ampige kama horse. Anaanza kumwekea mwalimu amwambia hatuna kitu. At least sojesha mtoto unaweza jaribu. But let me tell you something. We actually have that story. We're going to talk about it. I'm not even lying. We have that story. But for now the hashtag is chick chat we are on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram as well at white pepper channel talk to us at Philin Jean at Jacinta Mugura and of course at Daniel's Bob Miner. And now we move on to another story. And comedian Mlamoa and his girlfriend Sony earlier this week welcomed the baby girl by the name Kayla Oyando. The couple were over the moon describing her arrival as the best thing to ever happen in both their lives. While appreciating his girlfriend, Mlamoa described her as a strong woman and went ahead to give her a hundred thousand Kenya shillings as a push gift. Wow. I have a video. Let's check it out. Ngojeni. Sasa tena ni nini tumefanya? It's for you to, to spend. 
<laughs> to do whatever you wish to do with the ah, cash. Thank Congratulations. You. Thank you. And thank you so much for ah, for this wonderful and amazing gift. Oh. We hope for the best always, okay? You're I love you so much, you baby. Me. Thank you. Yeah. I'm emotional, but me mm. brother. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, congrats. Yeah. yeah, and also there are some flowers here. Let me show you. They are here. Yeah, flowers. Yeah, it's 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 for you to, to spend <laughs> to do whatever you wish to do. With <laughs> kitu ya kukula alizaliwa tu juzi Facebook I share When God decides it's you it's you who who would have thought your time akiambiwa ati mambo ya ati akitroliwa on twitter ati ataka mfuko moja a gift dem yake on camera 100 g's Not yeah okay. oh. i think that's the day yeah. they had split yeah and then he was so broke na alikuwa actually he was saying he's losing it mnakumbuka yeah. mpaka yeah. anachukuliwa video eh yeah. mpaka watu wakaanza kumtrol yeah. ati venye anaka mm-hmm. ati sijui mpaka maumbile yake wacha niwaambie god is not a respect of human beings msikuwa mnaona mtu hivi mnamdharau siku ingi. Why? Yoni think, lesson tunafaa to learn. I don't know if it's true but Mlamo always says analipanga rent ya 9k. Uko IG anaichongolea anga nje lakini si wewe celeb mbona uishi nyumba ya 9000. Eh eh. Ati unalipa 9k. Oni ile venye tunaingianga matatu mtu anakusalimia expect kuwa kwa matatu. Tutazipanda. Matatu unafanya nini huko? I know. Wewe ni watu watu pia watu pressure. But I'm just really excited like push gift yeah. it's finally now a thing in kenya unajua wasa wa majua nafanya nga hivyo but now we are here tunajua katu zawadia kwa hivyo utapea na push gift hamu natupea pressure push gift push gift tutapea na lagini mwate kuikini unaunana una, wawo usichoche watu wengine wana juu utapea na unajua kwa hivyo mbaya <laughs> Unajua tunakujua. Karibu. Wangi mbaya. Advice the sons of Abraham venye inafaa. Oh, boys out there then. Ah, okay. Honestly, it's it's not an easy thing when you see your wife has brought you a, a baby. A yeah. Baby. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people some die, yes. some develop back yeah. problems. Yes. But like it's it's not an easy thing. So, you could push. You have to appreciate it's called a push gift. Yes. So that's what Mama did and then me on it's a trend. I did TikTok. I've been seeing mm. a lot of people doing mm. that. Another guy gave the wife 500,000 mm. Kenyan shillings. Like you know na peana million. Nini? Wao wewe yenye tu utaweza. Hata kai ni 10k. Unajua nyinyi naturally mnakuanga mambo bless the wife. But you guys are givers. You guys are givers even it's the billing for. Hii kitu inakuanga na very bust. Inakifikaga mali inakuwa ni nyinyi tu. Mm. Alafu tukifika kwa anyway, wacha tusikike hapo. Kia school and squeeze stingy men association. Eh hey, of course. <laughs> Do you know? 
Mnajua by the vile hiyo kitu yote the whole process is no joke. You know that's actually the proof that patients are many na kuanga chini sana. Aki jua aki mwanaume miezi tisa. Mimi mimi nitembee miezi tisa. Ah no. Hey, it's not easy. Na bike is. How? Aki sorry ya. Niko karibu kulipa. Your patients aki bega ladies tuna tuna waheshimu. Alafu aki wanaume nao pia tukitia sababu atunaisha moshi ya samaki. Nasikia nikunusa moshi ya samaki. Arus You know it's very serious my friend unajua alikuwa anataka rufu ya nini You see the poop ya ya cow cow dung Na wanaishi town Let me serious Ni serious bito hata wewe unajua hivyo si unajua vile walikuwa natusumbua Alikuja juja anatuambia ati hmm roho ya mungu zinapita ndio zote tuko like what Ni mbaya na wewe Ati hmm Hebu niambie kipatana na kama huyo. Sisi tunaheka huko amebaki katikati zinapita zio zi amesimama zinapita hivi kando. Na unajua the funny part. Wa akikosa mnaanza ga ku jam. Yaani ume jam. Unauliza nini umekasirisha tukatoa kwa mtu. Acha na jam. Unaenda ga kulala huko sisi. Alafu namuuliza okay ni hebu ni explainie vizuri shida ilikuwa gani ulikataa kuniletea moshi ya tuktuk. utatafuta hiyo pesa utaingia hizo chama itabidi with those kitu unataka kununua lakini bebe pia tukueni tukueni rational lakini hizi vitu one week ishaanza cravings mna tupeleka aje hapa imagine si kutaka mimi nime nime experience mtu first hand na kuna watu wawananga hizo vitu zote na kuna wenye zao it depends na mwili wa mtu tu vile iko like cowdan bit risk cowdan cowdan yawa ndalo <laughs> 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 moja kwa moja hadi huko na unaoniza ni nini? Ati eh wameitisha wanataka. Bana ukarekelesha unampigia. Yeye yeye kaudanga. Istumike istumike. Na hiyo tu ni intro. Alafu unapatana na CBC after that. Mimba. Ukimaliza hapo mwalimu anasema uliona ile mimi ya mtu alisema ati nimepigiwa na mama mtoto alikuwa na maboys mahali ati imebidi ametoka juu ameambiwa wapigwe family photo atamwacha bia yake ikiwa nusu akapigwa family photo hala hala Thank you so much for staying with us. We do appreciate the hashtag is chit chat and you're watching chit chat.
on your favorite YouTube channel, Y254. My name is Philin, at Philin Jin on all socials. And of course, I have the gang gang in studio with me at Jacinta Mugure. Mm. And of course, at Dennis Bob Miner. Now, keep talking to us on our social media pages. And at the end of the show, we'll be sending some love your way, right? Now, we move on to another story. And a Kenyan man is desperately asking for help so as to reconnect with his alleged father, Tanzania superstar Ali Kiba. Big Point, aka Ali Kiba, Al Kiba Jr., says his mom assured him from an early age that King Kiba is his father and he wants to meet him so that Kiba can help his singing career and also have a paternity test done. He, however, currently has no clue about his mom's whereabouts as she abandoned him in Bomet with his stepfather. We have a video, let's have a look at it. Tell us more about your story. My mama may she could name be a Alkiba ni budangu ni kiom dogo. Mm -hmm. So yon ni kitu ni may she ni meka kwa kiliangu. Na ni kiski anga alikiba kuna kenya miu feel ndani yangu ya. Una filajo kiski alikiba. Na feelingi kuna kitu ndani yangu ya. Akini mm -hmm. that way na mtafuta ni kwe sure about it. Ju ni kitu ni may she kweka kwa kiliangu. Ju ni kitu ni may she kwambiwa ya. So your mama alikwambia gawe ni mtoto wa Alikiba unakumbuka ulikuwa na umri gani maybe akikwambia wewe ni mtoto wa Alikiba hiyo time nilikuwa mdogo juu nilikuwa i think class 4 class 5 hapo hivyo yeah. so kutoka hiyo wakati saa hizi ndio umeamua kuchukua nafasi ya kumtafuta ama ni kitu ushaijaribu juu Alikiba ni mara mingi amekuwa hapa nchini amekuwa hapa Kenya for hata juzi alikuwa hapa Kenya labda ushaijaribu kumta right so we na mama app is hard the earth is hard. <laughs> okay, like, I don't know. I don't have anything to say. So I'm, I'm going to start with the dads. So, Dennis, kindly, please tell us. Do you think that's Al-Kibar's son? Does he look like Al-Kibar? Okay, it would need more... Unakumbuka uh, wa mama atene wa mbawa likuwa naangalia mtu. Walaza kuambia budako ni nani. Hii maskio hii. Sasa, kuna vila duwa po. Hapo, lakini... Okay, siko jua Mombasa, Bome... Mother, me as you could, the mother was a fan of Alikiba. Mm -hmm. So, Nile, Buddha, Mzani, Nani, ah, Uyo, Ni Alikiba. Probably, Ju, I, okay, Siju, I'm, I'm just trying to piece one and two together. Well, Katunaski, I'm saying, I'm not after Buddha, it's not also an easy thing, I would say. Ju, yeah. eh, Ju, Pia, Kunayo, Kunayo, the lack of, you know, we are actually having a very tough generation that is coming up. Iko very, I know for the figures. Yeah. So, Kiski, I'm saying that after Budake, Pia, in a way, I would really hope that uh, if it's true, Manze King, uh, I need to go to King Kiba. Manze, Mbui wako wako wapa Kenya, wako Bomet, kujia ye, feleka ye, pale uh, Tanzania. Uh, I know ye, but kama ni si hivyo Buda, Kiki na Ali Kiba, jo, wrong move. <laughs> right. Wrong move. But, but that's what I was going to ask. JC, this guy, he's a big point, a.k.a. Kiba Jr., so Ali Kiba Jr., do you think he's just using this story so that people can know him? Labda maona tu mtu ataenda na eni alikiba, maybe. Or maybe he's genuinely concerned. Because he is even asking for a paternity test. Ya mesema like wakipatana. Like he wants his help, yes, financially. Uh, and also to elevate his career in music. But other than that, he also wants to have a paternity test. If uh, he's like his dad, for real. Um, <coughs> nikitumia <coughs> zile skills za kitambo za hiyo za kuangalia hiyo um, <coughs> kichwa hiyo <coughs> kichwa kuna vile mm. <coughs> yes sasa so, something else i just hope see kiki as you have said they know kwa sababu um going um, utoke utoke kenya mpaka uruke tanzania yawa Eh, iko. Takuwa too much. But kuna vila inakamu. Kwa za akiwa before, hajaomoka. Akiwa mapenza na ran dunia. Nilikuwa hapo. Ndawuyo. Nilikuwa hapo. Ndawuyo. Inakamu. Mi kuna vila inakuja. Mi kwanza yonyo limeanza hapa. Hiyo, hiyo. Hiyo, hiyo ndio inanileta sana. Mali ni nyingi, nyumbani. Exactly. Ndawuyo, exactly, exactly. Nashuku, nashuku ndio uyu. And still, kama nataka paternity test. I just hope if kia likiba. Mm -hmm. It's just hope so. Ju, it's see expensive nowadays. Yeah. It takes nothing. Na siya teni kijana takuwa ame benefit. Mm -hmm. You're paying it to the hospital. Afanyue. Tujue, na kama kijana ni yako, anko, sukuru, tusonge na yo. Ibo, ibo. Na, the fact that he's an artist, so mm -hmm. na make more sense. Yeah, so, what is the vitu ni inborn? Yeah. Hmm? 
Yeah. In, a in, a, in a trickle down to yes. your generations, I hope so. I know, right? And so many people have daddy issues. Mm. I used to think that daddy issues was just a ladies thing. Mm. And then I realized even men have daddy <laughs> issues. <laughs> mm. Mm. Would you imagine Kanye having... He literally broke down on stage crying, saying like my dad was never around. He had to go hustle. It was always my mom. And he started like... Machozi, like seriously, thinking about the moments he missed with his dad because he was never home, like I wish you were there more and stuff. And when when you wish you were there more, Yes. You see, it's like the case of that guy. Mm. But for him, at least he had his stepdad. Because mother only watch and step. Like, like you know, my name. Yeah, really. You get mad. 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 <laughs> it shows but they still are sour no more on a she does like that is very serious yeah very serious only what you can do happy sasa so sound to talk about your mocha left and out and come to footer and let me tell you something people don't realize this you know now to get a relationship really not breaking himself mm. so imagine a parent leaving you it leaves a scar that doesn't go away mm. because you always somehow blame yourself you're like why did he mm. am i the reason he mm. like she left mm. like why did she mm. have to go mm. like so this issue like it just builds up enough when you to like very yeah. complicated dealing with issues they will never have yeah. gone through yeah. right? well, parenting is actually uh, a challenge that we are having a very big challenge because yeah. um part of the issues we are facing currently even with the current adult or young adult generation is actually because of issues with parenting we have a, I was I was looking at some research that was done that there was a lot of absenteeism parentism. Ilikuwa watu wako mko that's why you finding there is also if okay unaona historia CBC as it's going round. Mm. Yeah. There is two sides to it. There is what it wants to achieve and what's actually do, doing and kuna watu wanaipiga hapa na pale but you'll find what it really wants to achieve is actually to bring the parent and the kid together. It's mm. just that kuna tu vitu tuili tutatu tunapata gusagusu hapa na pale. But parenting has been an issue. Sabu ukilak buda ama mother kwa life yako. Mwanzo uko peke yako. You end up becoming <coughs> a parent me. in a very young age. Mm. And when you there's nothing as bad as snatching childhood away from a child. Right. Uyo mtu yeye ataishi kutaka hiyo part ya life. Mm -hmm. Na unfortunately ndo uta realize kuna so fika point flani in life una realize eh hey, umse mbona na behave hivi. Yeah. Mbona na kuwa very petty And then you in say life. It's life crisis. Yes, ina hit very early. Yeah. Unashindwa ni nini huyo mse na life. As in mbona to process na yeye the same. Unapata mse alikuwa very focused na life then ina fika point the time he needs to go into something very serious kuna kitu na pull back. Mm -hmm. yeah. Kuna direction alikuwa anahitaji hakuwa ipata. So, so it's, a, it's yeah. a very big issue. Also pain affect know. relationships when you to view relationships. Yes. Most yeah. of the people out here don't want to get married or don't want to marry either because, because they, they fear that. that their marriages will end up mm -hmm. like their parents. See. They have their mm. commitment, mm. They have commitment problems. Yes. They don't want to be committed to some mm. one person because, because they are you, afraid of getting hurt. Yeah, because they will the, like, eventually leave. Yeah. Yeah, 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 exactly. All right, now on that, keep up, please. If he's, like, just have the test done. It doesn't cost that much. And if he's your son, do right by him. If he's not, then, well, too bad. You he moves on. At least you tried. Yeah. You did the right thing, right? Mm -hmm. And anyway, now we move on to another thing. And a section of parents and social media users took to Twitter with the hashtag CBC must fall while complaining <laughs> about the homework given to their children. <laughs> now with the rollout of the competency-based curriculum hitting children aged 10 and 11, some say they have found themselves forced to learn how to make scarecrows and fashion clocks and even wheelbarrows out of a cardboard. Then that's not even all. Videos are making rounds on social media of children preaching while parents record and it is alleged to be part of the CRE assignments. We have um, a video of that. Let's have a look. <laughs> Uh, so that was their assignment actually. Well, you go and then they have a crusade. Aye. Olivu. Ini ni Malisa. Yeah. 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 Welcome, 
No, me. We're I'm always out. Team CBC. You know why? Mm -hmm. Feeling we grew up in a results-oriented system. Like, yeah. lazima upate 400, ndi ukuwe mewe ni mwerevu. Lazima upate 400, ndi ukuwe mepita. Lazima upate 400. You know, like, if you're below there, ulikuwa na feel ata wewe, ah, ata ni ya kina nani. Muna kumbuka nga kuna no. time ilifika, mpaka tuko like, ah, yeah. ni kina nani wanapitanga. Index, index yeah. one, two, three, and Ata tunajua ni nani automatically. Wacha ni kuambia. Mwalima mm. kitisha kitu, mm. like, uh, ujibu, and you don't know, you're like, alaka, denwa ajimi, nadua. Exactly. 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 Yeah. Ilikuwa yeah. evil. And uh, I feel CBC in achieve kitu. Mtoto kama hiyo mdogo hivyo huko kapewa mic preach hivyo uwezi. Unasikia mpaka kona ile. Akona ana ni kadogo. You know. Alafu <laughs> huyo mwingine hadi ako nani. So what you trying to say is that mm. the parents should take him to church and Like sister, huyo ni mtoto if ukaangalia hiyo akafuate hiyo mm. line trust me and I end up kukuwa preacher. Right. Uo ni mtu, iyo si kawaida, sisi na imi ya kayetu, ama ni juu tu nisoma kwa system different, labda pia mwaja wetu wapa angefanya. We just saw two kids. Exactly, but, kuna watu kwa wengine. Also, mm. maybe these kids, maybe it's just like part of comedy or something. Maybe they're not even mm -hmm. like, it's, maybe it's not even part of CBC. Maybe ni comedy, because videos no, we get found on social media. No, kitu najua ni ukweli, ni achapati. Mm. Mine mm. fiu wangu wali piga picha chapati. Mm. Mm. Chapati. Na alikuwa kitchen, na kapigwa picha, na zikatumwa WhatsApp. So hiyo ni ukweli. You know, my nephew, yeah, akipika chapo. Mm -hmm. So like make to dog, to around to dog. Let me show you something. Mm -hmm. Like our makeup artist, mm -hmm. Leslie, mm -hmm. she's always has to go, mm -hmm. she has to rush home, mm -hmm. go and help the kid with the homework. Mm -hmm. Sabab so, homework, I did, <laughs> there's a Twitter user who was complaining, at least CBC is not punishing the kids. It's, it's the us, parents. the parents. Mm -hmm. And the kids are just coordinating. <laughs> like your homework is yes. easy. Mm -hmm. Like, why do I have to do homework? There is. You know, are you feeling their pain? No, I kind of feel the pain, but mm -hmm. you know why why the pain is there is because coming from where we came from, mm -hmm. 844, yeah. as in assignment, you know, there was like a feeling of you're alone, do these things on your own. I don't have a bedroom. Where end of the Sisi tunafanya kuona TV, mm -hmm. sisi tunaona politics. Mm -hmm. Where we end of the Saa kukula itakufika ukuje. But then that was me. That was me, eh? Yeah. Where I saw men, I was in a room, 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 I was in a room. So, literally, literally, I was in a room. 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 I was in Mm -hmm. I learned how to open that thing kitambo mzae. Wacha tu niseme ukweli. Juwaki ulikuwa unafunga yokitu tuone TV wafi. No. Acha kwa mbio. Kwa mbio kwa like um. Akikuja anafungua. Akifungua tu mlango hivi. Yeah. Anashika TV ya sike kani mwoto. Yes. Yes. <laughs> They all too. Kuna energy. Eh. They all too. Na 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 kwa kiyo na TV. Mimi pa TV like... siku katazwa. Lakini pa kifika ni masaya ya kusoma. Yeah. Ata hakuna mtuna kutuma ni jicho. Inakuamsha. Yeah, inakuzindikisha. Mkuna <laughs> unafunga mlango. Inakuzindikisha. Uki mitu ukule. Uki maliza. Inakuzindikisha. Ukalale. Mpa, a -a, oh. Unarudi ilikuwa masaya ya kukule ni 8. Break ni 8. Oh. Inakuzindikisha. Sa tatu ujaribu utoke 5 minutes before. Na squeeze usomi. Sindio? Yeah. Squeeze usomi. Yeah. Umesikia TV. Ukatoka. Akia, lafu mzaya likuwa mejifunza kama ka mwalimu. Tuku huko ndani, nala, nime, amewasha teli, unasikia kabisa na ochi. Kumbi ya korada yako. Wacha kupata umelala. Ile kiboko utavurugo. But, there is another one actually you have to check out. I don't know if my director has that. Look at that. At CBC in action. Aopa kufanyia ile kitu tunafanyanga mpini. 
Huyo anafanya ni license. Si license ni ka 50. Wanaelewana. Unajua ile amefanya wanaelewana. Unajua. Guy, walienda kutafuta karao. They are having an agreement. So, ndio hiyo karao. Naona hii ni bypass anampatia ka 50. Eh wewe fix. Si mnafunza watu wote how things are but this is so wrong. What are we thinking? Are we teaching our kids to do this? We're trying to make sure we don't have like corrupt leaders and stuff. Alafu But I say teach them when they are young. So No na ICBC by the way as much as ina iko na hiyo issue ya ku bring parents together umesema Leslie anakimbia home yeah. kwenda kufanya hiyo kitu yeah. some some kids and as I was saying in the previous story is that we were never or some of the kids didn't have that parenting there mm-hmm. so uliko unajua mzai wako ama mama yako ni adui yako right now your parent is now becoming a colleague so as Jesse is saying there is the plus to it but the negative to it is now even the economic aspect yeah. imagine umelipia mtu hii school fees no wajo ule ukilipa school fees vile ni hassle si rais and then unaambiwa leo jioni i saw of, and it's actually true unaambiwa go and take a photo unaona wa kutuma whatsapp au ni wazuri kuna wanaambiwa print Huh. How do you print at night? Now shago what are they going to Yes, do? as in because, kuna... for me I'm doing of shago because at uh, some point in my schooling I was at my grandma's then he said me kwa show at that period of time hakuna tisaiba mingi hivyo like and if there is one it's like a, a place you have to walk. Na hiyo time watu wanatoka shuleni late. So when they utaenda cyber ama ni home utaenda like you see Is... Kuna vitu zina fazi tuni wetu ni hapa na pale yeah. but pia tusidanganywe na watu wa Twitter sana jua ni watu wa kwa mahali urban yeah. kuna wase pia is system Let's... ina work wase wa ushago yes, kuna... that's way mimi niliona video ya shule ya ushago yes. mtoto wameambiwa go buy like wana demonstrate mliona yes. mtoto anatumwa sasa ametumwa na mzazi mtoto mmoja ni mzazi tumwa kwa shop na And shop wako na vitu blue bands kari mikate maziwa kwa display ya class yes na kuna shopkeeper so shopkeeper ametumwa na ameandikiwa bodi ya askari ni hivi hii ni hivi hii ni hivyo sasa huyu ameenda akabai sasa yeah. unaona kama hiyo ina work yeah. yeah it was actually there even in the 844 yes. tulikuwa na shamba na duka huko kwa lakini ilikuwa ina happen tu walimwa tipi wakikuja even teachers are supposed to go to undergo training you see even some teachers still don't understand so i saw in the news the other day that teachers are supposed to go on a mandatory training Walenda. yes yeah. so mm. they are also like wameanza huko juu in a yeah. trickle down yeah mm. at the end of the day i think it's going to benefit everybody Man, i think the only worry i have with cbc is when it gets to the grade six children yes. who move to high school high school tutakuwa na very young juniors tutakuwa i think tutakuwa na, na junior high na senior high but it's okay I, but, 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 but we'll but cross think, that bridge when we get there i think other people are actually making fun of it because i saw another post milioni ile ya pombe atakuja na smanov haki wanda yeah, experiment i'm like really yeah you were of course our wale kenyans because how do you let a 10 year old a, a baby pombe hao ni wale hao ni wale hao ni wale nini hao ni wale hao ni wale keyboard if warriors it, i know if it gets to that then that <laughs> is it <laughs> if it gets to that <laughs> keyboard warriors <laughs> Kuna leo ile boa red horse. Eh, ndio. Kuna horse bridge shipa Macau. Eh. Ita kugonga it take. But then you could say there's a parallel. Mm-hmm. Remember we were saying even under bridge mm-hmm. there's a parallel who wrote he cannot do that. Due you cannot have a said because large of, gathering. Yes. Due to COVID-19. <laughs> Good one. Good one. Good one. Yes. Even the Nepal. Anyway, presenter. Anyway, um, let's hear about you, our life story of the day and radio presenters Jalas and Andrew Kibe are no longer hiding their f- the fact that they dislike each other. This all started when Kibe criticized Jalas over the Mtumba man whose videos went viral for selling clothes in Kisumu. In his own words, Kibe told Jalas that it wasn't right for him to help a man who's cross-dressing in the name of comedy. Jalas Last responded by telling him that he didn't regret helping a man who only wanted to put food on his table. But it didn't end there. They two have been clapping back at each other on their social pages. Now we have videos, so let's just have a look. Wherever you are, Jalas, imagine right now, Madema kwa hapa wanakutetea. Madema kwa hapa wanasema, "Wachana Jalas, wetu Jalas ni mtu mzuri amesaidia watu wengi. Wewe umesaidia nani? Wewe umesaidia nani? Madem wanakutetea Buda. Men, to, when we were growing up, dem angekutetea. Hey, 
bro, you, you would look like the puniest, puniest individual. If we were a sponsor, sponsor, but he is a sponsor, eh? Sponsor in our country by now, we send comment upon Minya Unu. Whatever come one, I'm going to go Toys on go. Now, out of the upper. No, no, but I'm a damn paradox. My God, God's timing is which God? God were LGBTQ. Ni? Which God has allowed that to happen in our country? Anybody who knows the last, please. Mutu me rutex mambia, please. The last. What channel na yo yo yo? Una advertise sign you shoga. We cannot advertise homosexuality. I have refused. We're not going to advertise lesbianism. I have refused. All right. So when what? Kibe and uh, Jalas, ni juzi tu kwa story a wash wash. Kibe was like, you know what? Jalas is like uh, uh, not so nice sometimes, but he yenye a wash wash me make I come defend. Say I'm going to give you. No, I'm going. Guys, so who is a friend? No. Today we are friends. Tomorrow nothing. When you do something I don't like, then. But do you think it's story time me talking about the fact that Ki Jalas is the one who took. Um, after Kibe left uh, that uh, Radio Africa, mm, the last mm. Do you think that's where it comes from? I'm it's not that petty. What I'm saying is, okay, we have a we have a problem as a country. To not right. kick it to a point, to not push it was if I could push it. Mm. As in, this was this is somebody who was expressing his concern, and then somebody else picks it up, makes it a headline, then forces the other guy to comment, to respond. then picks that comment, amplifies it, makes it a war. And now it's like uh, how seriously because yeah. if you if you know for a fact when he jealous ali anza kufanya show ya um selling it's been how long mm -hmm. as in a, as much as you know the way you guys say kibe is rough and stuff i'm assuming he wouldn't be still holding on to something see akona ready yake as we speak by the yeah. way he has his own stuff he's doing <laughs> but so but he's not in kenya right now yeah so nimsi anafanya vitu zake so holding on to that vibe kuna say and it's it's very unfortunate that we have people who go to extents of pushing people to war unajua say filin i'll say something about you and the way you'll find it on tabloids sio vile nilisema mm. Yeah. And yeah, if you find it, you might find it if you're on a saying in a popular mm. your friends mm. and you have to respond. The way you respond mm. in a co amplified. Yeah. So I'm I'm so kinda thinking this is the thing. They usually just like blow things out of yes. the so we don't get like too. a whole big deal. <laughs> yes, and also no get to us or will keep yeah. saying that guy was dressing, cross dressing and stuff and stuff. No, but he called out Jalas. Like, yeah. Man, 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 man call out each other every day. I'm, I when would he, say, like, what, that was lambasting. Yes. That, was, that in your that's, head was huge. That's, that's, so you support him calling out Jalas for helping someone? Calling out each other is not a problem. But, no, 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 but sorry, calling out that, you support about him. that guy is a problem. And exactly. that is what we and that is where we, are we should here. not be saying that. Uh, Ile, kuna, I've seen the story about it. The guys are saying, oh, Kibe has been having beef over all through. Watana hiyo, call him out for not being But realistic. no, Joe, we cannot yeah. tetea him because we don't know whether he has a beef or not. You know, beef is very uh, personal. Yeah. They know yeah. beef yeah. is yeah. very yeah. personal. Yeah. Yeah. And there's, uh, let, me, let me tell you something. There's even an angle over where some people feel like Kibe feels like people don't like don't talk about him much, so he's like just right. That is what that is what that is what I wanted to say. attack so that Jalasa respond. Yo, yo, kitwe nyani likuwa na attack. Kusema kwa sababu all the time you're always here talking about Kibe. There's always something imefanyika ya mtu mwingine aka ride on that wave aka kuwa relevant na always ana kuanga ki criticize. I know men love Kibe for some reason. I don't know why. Me don't hate him, but for a fact, if that guy hange eyariwa apo unge mchu like let's you know, right? let's speak facts right. nothing would have happened that's below. the right angle to criticize that guy that, that's the right angle sasa hivyo ndivyo nimesema si nimesema the right thing kuna watu hapa nje no i was actually pulling up that that issue over sasa kwenye mmekuwa na beef as in you are like sasa hapo ana get hivyo like reason yenye tuko hapa kwa isho ni kwa sababu ya venye ali criticize the fact that jealous help someone yeah. from the street someone like no, ali bangu no, sema mm. tena sajua na madema tu if jealous is anything people you yeah. want to yeah. die Eh, eh. Ati, he is just being a man. He can't tolerate that. Like men cross dressing is a no for him. That guy was yeah, looking yeah. for his coin. Mhm. Mm Na hunge mpatia chakula. Hata wenye hawa msupport, hamjawahi put table on put food, food on his yeah. table. Yeah. So whether you do it or <laughs> not, 
This, mbona wa mtu criticize sisi tukivaa trousers don't disrespect right. anyone hustle do this. Let's do this. Exactly. That's the exactly. thing exactly we have our tea room a little tea room we're going to have to finish this conversation yeah. there right now we sort of social media but as we do that I just want to send out my condolences to DJ Evolve's family and mm. to him because he just lost his mom today. Mm. Ha, um, his mom literally just collapsed and died that is yesterday and it's so unfortunate. We are sending out our condolences to you and your family DJ Evolve and may you get well soon. We are we're wishing you all the best honestly. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So, uh, what are people saying on social media? Uh first comment ni Iman James <laughs> from Mombasa. <laughs> <laughs> Aya, hey, Mombasa. Hey. Yes, it was. I who are girls. Watching from Kikuyu Massive, beautiful people. Thank you. Jose Kariswa Juja, Ruiro Morera to Cotune Sana, Chit Chati Con Fire. Thank you. Cheroa Tera Nasema Oyu 254, ni favorite station yake. Karis Babake Chris, Ngongres Costune, David Miendo wa Kochomba, streaming live live kutoka Kochomba na Mwacha Bungoma County. Sam Kush Nakuru watching the best TV. Oh, thank you. Alex Wajam mi pishori ako in uh, samwanakuru ni kondani eh, meshak musa, musamali watching live from bungoma uh, Ed, mc edwin kipkoril ako live from eldoret uh, caleb spata ako kisi bewa macha ako macha kimani kim in the area kelvin marsh ako kinangop sam kush konakuru mm. I don't tell her right here. Um, I have Denny so I just had to read this on lap really fast and I said, I'm totally not sure and a baba pull her keeper. Wow. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, shout out to Toxie MC. You always tuned in. A big shout out to you. Thank you yeah. so much for watching. Mm. Do you have any shout outs, Denny? I'll oh, find the out. money. Pale DK prisons near it. Pit on our villa in a far. And I'll hear what we'll do. I love as we always say, you guys. When ukitoka hapa hebu pitia pale kwa YouTube alafu uandike bobu wa magari mm, tafadhali mm, tu alafu mm. sinya subscribe si ndio mm, yeah. asante sana maridadi all right and this time the two of you are Jose Kariswa Jose Kariswa and asma Ruru Mirera tuko tuned in sana show you college thank you so much Ben Simple we see you that's on Instagram asma show email emailana Thank you Lips. so much. We appreciate mm. each and every one of you. We're going to see you again next week with another amazing show. We have to go, but we love you so much. Have a great weekend. Enjoy your weekend. And we'll see you next week. Stay safe. Bye. Chit, chat, chit, chat, chit, chat, chit, chat.